so I'm just gonna show you the prompt I used. Uh, next is gonna be to create a voice control of the drone. Okay, so when I run voicecontrol.py now, hopefully we can connect to the drone, perfect. And this should start hovering now, so I'm gonna try to film this. So let's see. Okay, perfect. So now we can start voice control. So I can just press M here. Move 50 left. Okay, so that's working. Move 150 right. So today we are doing uh, a bit of a different thing. I have this Crazy Fly 2 plus 2.1 plus, and yeah, I'm gonna open up this. So this is basically yeah all the other stuff we need, right? So let me just gonna open this. Yeah, I think I just pop this open here, and basically in here we have everything we need to build this small swarm drone. Yeah, you can see it. we have the flow deck here. Here we have uh, the radio controller, and uh, I'm gonna put everything together. Do we have anything else here? I don't think so, so let's remove that. Okay, uh, let's open up the fly here, right? So this is just a very small, simple to learn uh, swarm drone. I just got one now, so you can see here. And we're gonna put everything together today. So you can see there's a lot of different parts here. So we're gonna put everything together and then we're gonna use um, AI to actually help us with the code to get this flying, right? So I'm just gonna, yeah, start sorting out the, the parts here and let's start putting this small swarm drone together. So the first step I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna twist these wires here on the motor, right? So basically just make a twist here, so yeah. They just hold up a bit better. And that is just gonna be our first step. So I'm gonna do this for all the motors, right? Okay, so that's it. So you can see we have all the motors and the wires twisted up. So now we can just start mounting this like this, right? So that's the first one. So I'm just gonna do the same with uh, three others. Okay, so we got all the motors, right? Perfect, set up. So now we can kind of just uh, start attaching our twisted wire. Okay, like this. So I'm gonna do that for all motors. Okay, so that was done. So let's do the next step. And that is gonna be to slide the motor onto the body of the drone here. So I'm just gonna slide this in here while we attach the, the connectors here on the body of the drone. Okay, perfect, so that was done. So you can see now we have the all the motors attached here. Perfect. And uh, now we're just gonna do the propellers on top of the, yeah motors here right okay so now i just attach some uh, rubber uh, plate here and we have some pins and now i'm just gonna attach the battery pack here this small battery pack we have here and that's it right so you can see we just powered on connected to the battery and yeah we have the lights here so i'm just gonna try to hide this uh, a bit under here and we should be pretty much good to go. We have one more thing we need to install. Okay, so uh, I did just the final part. I installed something called the flow deck here. And that means that everything should be good to go. We already tested the battery. So now it's just on to working with the software. We're gonna use uh, AI to try to, yeah, get this thing flying. Okay, so what I have done now, as you can see on the screen here, is I have installed a client for the, yeah, CrazyFly. So, I want to try out first to actually just run the drone with my PS controller, okay? So you can see down here now, we have kind of the PS controller. Let's see if it seems like it's working. So I'm just gonna scan for my drone. Uh, I need to plug in this antenna first. Okay, so I plugged in the antenna, and yeah, you can see I found the drone now. So I'm just gonna put this down. Okay, so let's try this now. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, that works. Oh, that was a big drop. Okay, so it's working, perfect with the controller. So now I'm gonna do, now I'm gonna try to do, yeah, with code. So we're gonna load up the documentation and try to fly this using, yeah, code. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do then is of course gather the documentation. 
So the idea now is that we come in blind here. We're just gonna vibe code this uh, swarm drone. So we just go to the documentation. I gathered all the information I could find uh, for the documentation. This is Python for the drone. And I just compiled it in my crazyfly.md and I have some information about the radio, how we use that. So that is connected to my USB port. So I loaded up Cloud code. Uh, I thought we can use Cloud code for this. So I just want to start by uh, reading the documentation. So let's do read and let's tag crazy fly. And we can tag crazy radio too. So just read the documentation, familiarize with this. And then we're going to try to do, um, yeah, just a simple test with code to see if we can just fly the drone and land again, I think. So let's just start with something simple. So let's do write a Python code to connect to the drone, check for leveling, then do a simple test, fly 30 centimeters up, hover for three seconds, and land slowly. Call it test1.py. So this is gonna be our initial test. So I think the end uh, goal today is gonna be to, we're gonna do some pattern flying, and then we're gonna try to spin maybe. And the final thing I wanna try to do is control the drone by using my voice. I don't know if we can do that, but I'm gonna try that. So let's just write out this, uh, try this code here to just test the drone. So what I think is pretty cool about this is I come in blind here. I have never done anything with this, uh, this API for, and I can just upload everything to Claude here and it can help me get started right away and I can dive deeper in later if I want to. I think this is just so cool with these new large language models and these agents we have here. So you can see we are kind of up and running straight away. And yeah, I guess we just have to test it. So I think the code is done now. So I'm just gonna get my drone ready here. Okay, so I placed the drone on the ground and let's just go here and let's try this out. So I'm just gonna do Python, what do we call it? Test1.py. So let's see if this works now. So we're gonna connect to the drone. That looks good, I think. It's blinking yellow. Uh, checking if drone is level. And uh, let's see. Okay, that's pretty cool, right? So that was three seconds and then land slowly. Wow, that was perfect. Okay, so that was pretty cool. You can see we can just follow along here as uh, it went up to 30 centimeters. Because we have these sensors on the drone, the flow deck is kind of measuring the height to the floor. So that is a pretty cool start, I think. So I think the next thing we're gonna do is ask for a code to, uh, let's say that was perfect. Let's do a spin.py where the drone hover at let's say 50 centimeters while spinning around its axis something like this uh, for three rounds then land slow let's try that so this is pretty cool now because now we kind of have everything set up we have connected we have the radio so now we can just start playing around using the Claude agent here to help us write this Python code. Okay, so that was done. So let's see now. So I'm just gonna do, what do you call it? Python spin.py. And I'm gonna grab my camera here. And let's start the code. Okay. And I'm gonna go over here now. So let me bring the camera to see the drone. Okay, so it looks like it's connecting. Okay, here we go. So now I want to see, yeah, it is spinning. I guess you can see it. It's spinning around its axis. You can see the lights moving around. So that's pretty cool. And if you look at the code now, you can see it's kind of getting the sensor information. So I think that was it. One more round, I think. And then it's going to land, right? Like this, I think. Okay, and then slowly down. Okay, that was pretty cool. So I think the next thing we're gonna try is actually, let me put the camera down. So I think the next thing we're gonna do is, um, 
I want to do an eight figure pattern. And after that, I want to work a bit on how we can actually control this with our voice, I think. Okay, so we can see uh, Claude wrote the code. Uh, I'm just going to open this in a new terminal to kind of get the stream here. So let me grab the camera here and let's run it. So you can see it connecting. Okay, I'm going to go over here to see. So we want to see a figure. Okay, here we go. So I want to see a figure eight, right? Okay, so it is moving. Yeah, that is kind of like a figure eight. You can see it's going in this eight figure here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So if you look at the code, that should be it. And it should go down now. Perfect. <laughs> so you can see how easy that was. We didn't really need like a lot of time to... It's a very short amount of time from setting this up to actually have something working. So that is just so cool with this um, AI agents. And if I was gonna do this like five years ago, so this would have taken me like days because I'm very slow. So that is just super fun. And we got all the logging here, right? We can play around with if we want to. And we got some data collection here. And we let's say we added some wind here. We can see the data. Maybe we needed some more power because of the wind speed and we can just do a bunch of stuff like this. So now I'm gonna try to set up a voice control for this. That's gonna take a bit more time. So yeah, for you it's gonna be one second, I guess. Okay, so I did the prompt here, so I'm just gonna show you the prompt I used. Uh, next is gonna be to create a voice control of the drone. So read uh, the documentation I gathered. So the documentation was just a speech to text documentation from OpenAI. And I put in my API key. Uh, what I want is a push, push to move drone command. So I can press and hold M and I can say move 50 forward, 150 backwards, 50 left and so on. So yeah, that was basically all the information I gave it. We have the documentation for the drone. We have the documentation from OpenAI. And I ended up with something I think is successful. So I'm just going to show you how this works now. We ended up with voicecontrol.py and this is uh, eight, no, six thirty lines of code and I did test it and this seems to work pretty good. So I'm just going to play you, show you a demo now. So let's just set up the drone and let's record me trying to control the drone by just using voice command here. So we are using whisper to transcribe my voice to command to send to the drone. Okay, so when I run a voice control.py now, hopefully we can connect to the drone, perfect. And this should start hovering now. So I'm gonna try to film this. So let's see. Okay, perfect. So now we can start voice control. So I can just press M here. Move 50 left. Okay, so that's working. Move 150 right. So it should come towards us. 150 right. Okay, so it's coming towards us. Okay, that was pretty far. Move 50 backwards. So you can see it's coming towards me now. Okay, that's pretty cool. 200 forward. Okay, so now it's going forward. So we are voice controlling this now, so that's pretty cool. And I can just press Q, and it should land, right? Yeah, I don't know if you see that, but okay. Boom, so that was perfect. So that is how easy it is actually to just, well, that was a lot of M's, to set up a voice control with the drone, right? And this is not trivial, right? This would have taken uh, a lot of effort just a few years ago, but now with the new generative AI agents and tools, super easy to do. So I want to try one more thing. I don't know if this is going to work, but I want to try it out anyway. Okay, you can see on the screen here the prompt I'm going to send to Cloud Code. I'm not going to read out everything, but basically the idea here is that we're going to connect the LLM to the, so it has access to the logging from the drone while it's flying in real time and it can make commands so that the object is to have a three point or three times three meter area 
and we're gonna place an object and the idea is that the drone is gonna cooperate with OpenAI LLM to search that area and find the object and land on it. That is the main idea. So I'm gonna send this to Cloud Code now and it's gonna start working on the code. Hopefully we get something. Yeah, I'm just gonna give Cloud Code some time to cook this up and I'm gonna place an object on the floor. Uh, let's see if the drone can find it and land on it with cooperation with OpenAI here. Let me go through how it set up this code now. So it's gonna use the flow deck height sensor to kind of look at the height differences from the ground. And you can see uh, the search area is flat except for the object. When flying over an object, the ground is now closer, of course, to the drone. And we're gonna use the range sensor and we have a baseline calibration. So it takes off, measure the average to, uh, to the ground, 30 samples, okay. We're gonna do a grid search. We're gonna do height sampling, LLM analysis, and object detection. Is this gonna work? And um, yeah, we are ready to run this. Uh, but first let's start the camera. Okay, so let's run this now. Before we do that, let's place out the drone. So I'm just gonna put it over here somewhere, okay? Because the drone has like a starting point and from there it's gonna start its grid search. So I'm just gonna fire up the camera now and follow the drone. So let's just start this. And when we can see the path of the drone, I'm gonna place the object in the path, okay? So let's see if it's starting. Okay, that looks pretty good. And it's gonna find its starting point. Now it's just gonna do the baseline height and it's gonna move over to its starting point. And from there, it should start the grid search. Okay, so it's moving. So we're gonna place this in its path, right? Something like this. So let's see what happens when the drone flies over the object now. Let's see if it detects it. Okay, so something happened. Is it gonna try to land? Okay, so it just dropped down. <laughs> Uh, but I guess that was a success, right? Yeah, we landed on the object. <laughs> and descending, okay, that didn't happen. So there are some issues with the code here. But pretty much what we were looking for, I guess. So you can see we have the anomaly detected plus 50. Okay, so yeah. I wouldn't say that was perfect, but if I worked a bit more on the code here, I think we can get this to work, right? So we can search the full grid and kind of get um, detection when we find an object that is elevated or elevated from the ground, I guess. So yeah, pretty cool. So yeah, that was basically all I wanted to do today. And you can see I had a lot of fun with this drone here. And it just, I think it just shows if you have the documentation and you have these LLMs now, this could be any LLM, I guess, and some creativity. There's a lot of stuff you can do now just right out of the box. You don't really need a lot of like um, knowledge up front because you can just use the LLMs, the agents to get you started and then you can dive deeper in. So we've made like a autonomous search now. We had the voice control and we did some other tests with just pure scripting. So super fun and I'm looking forward to playing around more with this, see what we can do. So now we only have the laser, right? And let's say we have the camera here, then we can maybe use some APIs to look at things. We can do maybe some bounding boxes. I don't know. This is probably something I'm gonna do in the future. But for now, yeah, this was the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope this gave you some inspiration. This was not a sponsored video, but I might ask them if they wanna do a sponsor so we can have many of this, so we can do a big swarm, like a big, like a swarm. So yeah. Hope this gave you some inspiration and as always, thank you for tuning in. Have a great day and we speak soon.